Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie and I've sold over $500,000 of t-shirts on Etsy using print on demand. And my channel is all about teaching you how to do the same thing. Today's video was requested by one of our awesome subscribers, Melissa. She requested that we do a full review of the creativefabrica.com subscription. This is something that I talk about a lot here on my channel since Creative Fabrica has been a go-to for me for graphics and fonts over the last two years. This is not a sponsored video by Creative Fabrica, but I do have a link for you all at the top of my description. And this gives you a $1 for your first month trial on Creative Fabrica, and then it gives you a lifetime discount on your monthly membership. So instead of $29 per month, it brings it down to $19 per month and locks you in at that rate forever. So again, that link will be down in my description. It is an affiliate link, so it does directly help support my channel. If you don't sign up for Creative Fabrica, but you want to support me, then do consider liking, commenting, or subscribing to this video. In today's video, I'm going to go over three things. I'm going to go over what types of graphics, fonts, and other services are available on Creative Fabrica, what the licensing and membership requirements are, and then lastly, how to avoid getting copyright infringements. So let's jump right in. So Creative Fabrica has over 4 million graphics on their website, almost 90,000 fonts, lots of different craft resources, and then they even have some resources you can download for free. So I'm gonna walk you through some of what's available on the website. There are lots of free resources that you can just go ahead and download that have commercial licenses. So for the fonts, a commercial license you can just use as is and go ahead and use it however you'd like. You just can't sell that font. Uh, for any of these designs, most of them only have a commercial usage license, which means you can't just sell the design as is. You'd have to add to it and change it and really make it your own for that to be covered. But if you don't sign up for the subscription, there are tons of great freebies that you can get from this website as well. So definitely still worth checking them out even if you don't end up signing up. So one of my favorite things to get from Creative Fabrica is fonts, since it can take tons of time to go through all of the fonts on Canva or on GoDaddy Studio. And so this can be a great way to find really specific fonts. You know, a really great way is to use it for holidays. Like there's really great Easter fonts, Christmas fonts, Halloween fonts. You can really search these for lots of different ways. Like let's say you wanted a distressed font. Let's go ahead and type that in. And there's gonna bring up lots of different great distressed fonts for you. Or if you want to try some you know, gothic fonts, you can type that in and get some more gothic themed ones. You know, like this cheddar gothic rough, that one's really cute. And then you do again get the commercial use license with all of these. Uh, the only thing about the fonts is if you do cancel your subscription, then you do have to stop using the font. And so definitely something to kind of keep track of and make sure you understand. Then the next thing that they offer is graphics. So again, there's over 4 million graphics. And what's really great about the graphics on this website is they're very well optimized. Each listing can have up to 50 different tags. And so you can type in almost anything and find an amazing amount of graphics. They do recommend some to you as well. So these are the popular this week graphics. When you're looking through just the graphics, some of them are going to have commercial use licenses and some are going to have full print on demand usage allowed. And so the difference between those is the ones with the full POD usage allowed, you could technically download these designs and upload it as is onto Etsy for sale. So that's what the license is covering for you. But the way that that license works is if you have the full POD usage license, and you upload it onto Etsy, if at any point you cancel your subscription, you would then need to delete that design if you didn't make any changes. However, if you downloaded, say, these hands and you added words above and below, added some colors, added some other graphics, then after you cancel your subscription, you could actually keep that up for sale. You would just not be able to make new designs with it. 
And then there is actually a print on demand folder altogether. So if you click on this POD here at the top, these are all going to be the full print on demand usage license. And so this is a great place to get graphics. Um, ignore any of the copyright ones, like all of these are Disney themed. You know, the people selling on Creative Fabrica are third party sellers, so they are not keeping your best interests in mind trying to sell you Disney things. But these are very cute and you can download them and use them for personal use, but I wouldn't recommend selling anything for commercial use with the Disney and all the different copyright type infringement things you'll see on here. Another great thing that you can get off Creative Fabrica is actually mock-ups. So if we type in mock-ups, you're gonna find mock-ups for lots of different types of items. You'll find some for aprons, for mugs, the 3001 Bella shirts, Gildan shirts. And so there are quite a few on here. I'd say the majority for the t-shirt ones are pretty mediocre, but there are a few that are great, but especially these, um, mock-ups by lock and page of these sweatshirts if you're wanting to try a new sweatshirt color you could always get one of these mock-ups here see if it sells and then if you like that color you could buy some fancier mock-ups for it but some of them are adorable like half moon that mock-up store has some really really adorable ones here's a great hoodie one for christmas and then you can click on their actual profile and see all of the ones they have to offer this one for the 3001 is gorgeous lots of other ones for the christmas here's a fourth of july flag and someone with a fourth of july flag around them that's great for fourth of july coming up if you're selling mugs some great guy designs um, Ooh, this one's really cute i like this rack uh, but I wouldn't do any mock-ups that have multiple colors unless you're actually going to be offering all of those colors. So be careful with that. Uh, this mock-up's adorable. So definitely a great place to get some mock-ups. Like I said, there's not tons and tons, uh, but it's one of the perks that you can get mock-ups here as well. They also offer free online classes. So if you go here and look at their classes, there are some great ones that are available that teach you how to make sublimation designs, how to draw gnomes in Procreate. There's plenty of great things to learn, so definitely check out the classes if you get the subscription. Another really fun thing that Creative Fabrica has is in their tools section, they have something called Shape Cloud. So if you've ever seen those designs where it's a bunch of words all shaped in a heart, you can actually make those within seconds on Creative Fabrica. So you can find your own shape, so you can do a custom shape, or they have some that are auto-generated for you. So for 4th of July, maybe we'll do a star, that's what we'll choose for our shape. But here you can actually upload your own if you'd like. And then you're gonna go ahead and delete the words that they have in here. Whatever you want to be the biggest, I would do first. So maybe we'll do like 4th of July, if I could type. We'll do freedom, stars and stripes, red, white, and blue. I don't think you can do that actually. So let's do USA and then you'll just go update changes and then this actually makes it for us in a matter of seconds. And then here is your design. Uh, you can actually come down here and change the colors as well if you wanted something completely different. And then you would just go ahead and update the changes again. And then you just download your design and you can upload this onto t-shirts. You can use this for plenty of different niches. This would be great for teachers with teacher quotes. This would be great for moms, for Mother's Day, different quotes about how much you love your mom. You can really get creative with this and try lots of different silhouettes to make something custom and all your own. So let's just make sure that we all understand the license for selling the items that you get with your subscription. So for the commercial license, you're able to create an unlimited amount of items to sell, and that is for physical items or digital items as well. So if you wanted to have a digital download store where you sold poster prints or digital download prints, you could even sell just PNG downloads that you make for other t-shirt sellers. Those are all great business ideas to start as well. And you get, again, unlimited versions of these products that you're able to sell. 
For the commercial license, you can't just upload items as is to a shirt and sell it. You do need to use those pieces in a completely different type of design and make it a unique design for you. So in this example, it's a pack of flowers that they downloaded. So you can't just put one of the flowers on a shirt. You would need to use those flowers in a brand new design that combines them and other elements to be something completely unique. And then after you cancel your subscription one day, any designs that you've used like this where you've made it completely your own, you do have the license to keep it up and sell it forever. The only thing you can't do after you cancel it is be creating brand new items with these same elements. Here's another example of what you're able to and not to do. So here's one of the original designs, and then here is how they actually made it their own to make it able to be used with the commercial license. For the full print-on-demand usage license, you can actually upload the items to your shirts or any of your products as is without making any changes, and you're able to use it for full commercial rights. However, this part is different. If you ever cancel your subscription, if you did not make any changes to the design, you would need to then delete it. Whereas if you use those elements to create a brand new design that is unique, then you're able to keep that up forever with the normal commercial license. Lastly, I know earlier I mentioned about avoiding copyright infringement. So I know it's going to be very tempting when you're on this website to look at some of these completely fully made gorgeous designs that are ready to be uploaded to Etsy and have the full print on demand rights. It's really tempting to just go ahead and download these and upload them directly to your store. But a word of caution, again, all of these graphics are uploaded by third-party sellers, which means that just like in a lot of places, there's people who steal designs and then sell them on here. I did personally have a design that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica that was a full t-shirt design. I didn't change a thing and it was actually stolen from someone on Amazon and I did get a copyright infringement. And so you do want to try and avoid using most of the fully made designs. You're welcome to try it yourself. You know, some of the sellers on here definitely are credible, but to make sure your designs are unique from everyone else's anyways, I would really recommend using Creative Fabrica for the graphics and the fonts and then combining them together to make your own unique design still. Hopefully this review was helpful to you seeing all that Creative Fabrica has to offer. Again, I do have a link in the description if you're interested in trying them out for the free trial and then you can cancel it at any time. But trust me, if you do use this service, you're going to love it because they just have so much to offer. But thank you again for staying all the way until the end and consider subscribing if you enjoyed this content and we'll see you in the next one.